In our last episode, we saw what would happen if we sided with the children of Adam and destroyed Far Harbor. Now, it's time to see what happens if we instead destroy the nucleus. But first, we can confront Dima about his memory concerning the nuclear launch key. I have a memory of yours about a nuclear launch key. You knew how to detonate the sub and the nucleus all along. Give me a moment. I need to... Remember for myself. So, I chose to forget the launch key even existed. Poor Confessor Martin. Was I lying to him all that time? The submarine is rusted into the dry dock. The only target that missile is ever going to hit is the base itself. The nucleus. Where the children of Adam live. We have to keep that key out of the wrong hands. The Nucleus has innocent people living there among the Zealots threatening Far Harbor. Is the Nucleus even worth saving? Don't judge them by what Confessor Tectus has done. He's used their fears and hatred to turn them into a weapon against Far Harbor. But there's still time to turn them away from that. We should destroy them both. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam don't deserve to live. You're advocating nothing but senseless destruction. Maybe Acadia could survive siding with one group, but killing off both? It would never work. At this point, we can end the conversation with Dima by simply saying, I found the launch key already. Make sure it's never used. Thank you. Was there anything else in my memories? Some way we can work towards peace? That dumps us back into Dima's other dialogue options, or we can try to convince Dima that we have to destroy the Nucleus. The key is the answer, Dima. We should destroy the Nucleus. You're serious? How would that solve anything? Never mind, then. It was just a thought. Very well. But we still need to decide what to do about the key. At this point, we have to pass one of three speech checks to convince Dima. That's one more opportunity than we had during our conversation to destroy Far Harbor. If we fail any of these checks, Dima has the exact same response. Nuclear genocide is not acceptable. No matter the circumstances, we have to find another way. My memories have to hold an answer where both sides can live. Have you found anything else? However, if we pass the Charisma checks, Dima has the same response for two of them, and a different response for the third. You can't keep denying the obvious. The Cult of Adam is a danger to everyone on this island. We need to act. Acadia can't stay neutral any longer, Dima. You need Far Harbor to survive. Help them get rid of this cult. Maybe you're right. Have I let this go on for too long? Have I just been afraid to admit what they've really become? Very well. Find the key and use it. End this before both sides pay the price of our inaction. Just remember, there will be no turning back. The children of Adam believe in division. Deep down, nuclear destruction is what they want. They just need to be convinced. I remember having these same debates. A long time ago. Maybe it's time I accept the logical conclusion. Very well. If you can convince Confessor Tectus that division is the answer his people are looking for, then the conflict will solve itself. It won't be easy as an outsider, even a new convert. But if you prove to them you can be trusted by helping them, then Tectus might be easier to sway. With that, we get Dima's permission to destroy the Nucleus. And we can destroy it any way we see fit. Now, at this point, we could simply use the nuclear launch key. But before we do that, we can try to talk with the High Confessor to see if he has anything to say about the matter. High Confessor. Ah, hello, child. To what do I owe the honor of such a visit from one of his favorites? The launch key for the sub's nukes. I wanted to ask you about it. The key to division, yes. 
Reunion with Atom at the flick of a wrist. An object of true power. Lost to the ages, unfortunately. What did you wish to know? Have you been searching for the key? There was a time when we sought it more fervently. But after years of fruitless hunting, we took it as a sign. If Adam wanted us to have such a relic, he would make it so. If you had the key, would you use it to launch the nuke? To bring about division? A question I've asked many a time. To experience instant rebirth as incalculable new worlds. Well, there are few gifts greater. But this island, Adam's kingdom, we have been given stewardship of this place. To abandon it, it would be an affront to everything he has granted us. Such a grand division. It is not our family's path. At this point, we can either argue for division, or we can hand him the key. I recovered the key. I think you should have it. You found the key. Holy Atom, it is a miracle. This family owes you a great debt. But we must not lose focus. We cannot rest until Far Harbor is wiped from the map. But you, you have done well today. With that, we lose our ability to destroy the Nucleus. We can't do it ourselves, and at this point, we can't convince High Confessor Tectus to use it himself. And there's no way to get it back. We can't pickpocket it from his inventory, and if we kill him... We also don't find it on his inventory. However, killing him in this manner gives us an opportunity to loot two unique items, the High Confessor's Helm and the High Confessor's Robes. The High Confessor's Robes, before perks and other character attributes are considered, has a DR and ER of 22 and grants plus two to endurance. But unlike the other Child of Adam clothing, it cannot be upgraded with Ballistic Weave. It looks just like the Child of Adam long rags, however it appears to be made out of leather instead of cloth. And instead of a colander affixed to the chest with a bunch of wires wrapped around the body, it has this weird copper grill, or maybe it was a heat sink of some sort from the submarine, hung around the neck that has developed a bit of a green patina. The High Confessor's Helm has a DR and ER of four, but sadly the hat cannot be upgraded with Ballistic Weave. Or, instead of giving the launch key to High Confessor Tectus, we can try to convince him to use it. And his reaction is different based on the choices we've made in the game. If we haven't completed enough quests for the Children of Adam... I think you need to reconsider your stance on using the nukes. You do? And why is that? We find that we have to pass one of three red charisma checks to get him to use the key. However, if we've completed all of the Children of Adam's quests here at the Nucleus, he says, Really? I will not lie. Hearing such a thing from you does carry weight. But I must know why. And we see that one of the three charisma checks is now an easier yellow. At this point, we can still back out. On second thought, maybe division's not the right path. Agreed. There is still too much to be done. Or we can try to pass each check, and he has something unique to say for our success and our failure. Think about it, Confessor. There's no greater way to prove your devotion to Adam than a grand division, unless that doesn't matter to you. He understands our devotion, child. He would never have claimed this land for us otherwise. We, we cannot overlook that. No. No, you're right. True devotion through division. But without the key, well, there is little we can do. It's not every island that has a functioning nuclear sub. You didn't come here to just while away your years. Adam brought you here to use the nuke. But destroying the very thing that makes this place so holy, it does not seem right. Adam brought us... Yes. Yes. 
Adam's plan. But alas, without the key, there is nothing we can do to see it to fruition. For the final one, if it's still red, the sole survivor can say, Consider the omens, Confessor. I'm here because Adam wanted me to aid you. And I'm telling you, launching the nuke is the only true path to him. I have no doubt Adam watches over you, child. But we have a responsibility to this island. That I will not abandon. But if it's yellow, the sole survivor says something slightly different. Think on the omens, the deeds I've done for this family. Adam sent me here to aid you. And I'm telling you, the nuke is the true path to him. He sent you. Yes, it all makes sense. The true path. Uh, but alas, the point is moot without the key. I still think launching the nukes to bring about division is the proper path. You needn't convince me further, child. But there is nothing we can do until the key is recovered. After passing the charisma checks, our ability to hand him the key is removed and it is replaced with an option to use the key. We don't need to wait any longer. I recovered the key. And I say it's time we bring about division. You've had it this whole time. This, this was a test. You were sent by him, weren't you? Then let us not delay our reunion another moment. I will address the children. The launch controls are over there. It's time you made Division a reality. With that, High Confessor Tectus races out of the vessel. He heads topside to give a speech. But he doesn't actually start the speech until we flip the switch. High Confessor. Adam placed the key in your possession. Now it's time you used it. Heading back inside the vessel, we can insert the launch key into the launch terminal. Missile launch. Time to make it Could it be? Lockdown protocol Him. engaged. Blast doors sealing in 30 seconds. The children of Adam kneel to the ground, eagerly waiting division. Racing outside. Gather, brothers and sisters. 25 seconds. Do you hear his chorus? Division is at hand. Adam's chosen has unlocked the gate to 20 seconds to lockdown. Come to deliver us from the iniquities of this existence. To finally set us free. 15 seconds. His to voice lockdown. shall boom. His radiance shall blind, and we shall at last Ten seconds divide to London. Prepare, children, for our time is now. If we don't get out in time... Lockdown in five, four, three, two, one. Lockdown complete. Commencing launch. If, however, instead of waiting around to listen to the sermon, we leap down from the vessel and race out the front door... Dividing. Prepare, 20 children. seconds to lockdown. is now. Lockdown in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lockdown complete. Commencing launch. The nuclear payload detonates in the dry dock, destroying the USS democracy, the nucleus, and all the children of Adam. We complete the quest cleansing the land, and we get the Far Harbor Survivalist perk, which grants a bonus to all damage resistance types. Specifically, it gives us a plus five bonus to all damage resistance types, ballistic, energy, poison, and radiation. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. What Nick Valentine said there is actually a quote from J. Robert Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer was a theoretical physicist who was the scientific director of the Manhattan Project. 
America's World War II undertaking that produced the world's first nuclear weapons. During a documentary interview in 1965, he says that upon witnessing the world's first nuclear detonation, he remembered a line from the Hindu Bhagavad Gita. In it, Krishna reveals himself to be one of the incarnations of Vishnu and says to his listener, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. Incidentally, I captured this moment in an original design that you can find on my shirt shop. We see that the submarine base has completely crumbled. The concrete has blocked up the door, and rock and concrete has completely filled the submarine bay. If, however, we chose to destroy the nucleus by simply using the key without convincing the High Confessor... Missile launch sequence initiated. No! The children of Adam turn hostile, and we have to fight our way out. This is easier for my character as she's in power armor, but I can imagine this being a tricky escape for a low-level character or a stealth character. To make matters worse, once we get outside, we find the exterior guards are hostile. Down, down. In five, four, three, two arms, two. And Grand Zealot Richter follows us outside, forcing us to put him down even after the detonation. <laughs> However, we decided to destroy the nucleus. When done, we can return to Dima to see what he has to say. If we did so without getting his permission... Dima? I saw the atomic blast from here. Felt it shake the island. What have you done? For all of their faults, the children of Adam did not deserve nuclear annihilation. I had nothing to do with it. We both know that isn't true. You don't get to lecture me, Dima. I made a decision while you were cowering on top of this mountain. Don't turn this on me. I haven't destroyed an entire people. Did their existence mean so little to you? They were crazy. Someone had to stop them before they killed more people. But you have killed them. Don't you understand? What victory can anyone claim when they're drowning in blood? I'm sorry, Dima, but it's done. They were too dangerous. So you sacrificed them? Was there no better way? They were misguided. But doesn't every form of life deserve a chance at redemption? <sighs> I am tired. And what's done is done. Was there anything else? I should get going. Of course. What's interesting about this exchange is even though it's very similar to what he says if we destroy Far Harbor without his permission, it's his tone of voice that changes. When talking about the children of Adam, he sounds heartbroken and sad. When talking about Far Harbor, he sounds livid. Don't you dare turn this around on me. I am not the one who's committed mass murder. Don't turn this on me. I haven't destroyed an entire people. What's also interesting about this exchange is after destroying the children of Adam, even without his permission, he still consents to talk with us, which he refuses to do if we destroy Far Harbor without his permission. If, however, we do get his permission to destroy the nucleus, our conversation goes a bit differently. Dima? So you've done what we discussed. I saw the atomic blast from here felt it shake the island. In a way, I suppose the children of Adam have become one with the fog they thought was their god's messenger. Any regrets? No. You were right. Acadia had to pick a side. I'd say that was definitely in my top three best nuclear explosions I've witnessed. I only have the one to reference, so I'll take your word on it. They were crazy. Someone had to stop them before they killed more people. The cycle of violence can only end when one side is completely destroyed? 
Maybe there's some truth to that. I convinced them to embrace Division. They left this world following their beliefs. Yes. At least they made that choice for themselves. Was there anything else you needed? I should get going. Of course. When done, we can head to Far Harbor to see how they respond. And when we arrive, we find the harbor men and women gathered in the middle of town. Now everyone, silence. A bright light. The rumors are true. It was a nuclear detonation. Huh? The children Got of Adam, the beach, they're all dead. That time. <laughs> Alan, we had our differences, yes. But a lot of people died. Some, well, not all of them, deserve to be mourned. But others were friends and family that just came to believe differently than us. Brainwashed, you mean. All your this should be a solemn occasion, Alan. Please, a moment of silence. Thank you. Protect your loved ones with my fine hand cannons. That's right. We remember that when the children of Adam first came to the island, they lived here at Far Harbor until they were expelled. And when they were expelled, they took some harbor men and women with them, including the archimist, who used to be Far Harbor's doctor. Few of the people in town have anything else to say on the matter, but we get the most positive response from Alan Lee. Alan? Stim Hero of the Fully hour. Stop. Wiped out all the children of Adam. <laughs> These caps are for you. And if you need anything, anything from my shop, you let me know. He rewards us with 1,600 caps. We get a unique response from the Mariner, too. Mariner. I don't have much love for the children of Adam. But no one deserves what they got. And no one else but Alan Lee seems to suspect that we were involved. Except for small Bertha. Hey, uh, Bertha. What happened to the children of Adam weren't no accident. Right, stranger? Oh, small Bertha is wise for her years. Now at this point, we know what happens to the island if we kill either Far Harbor or the children at the Nucleus. But what happens if we kill both? Well, if we destroy them both, the only ones left on the island are the synths of Acadia. For some reason, Dima has it in his head that Acadia simply can't exist without at least one of these two factions. He had to pick a side. Therefore, it comes as no surprise that if we do choose to destroy both of them, Dima is not pleased. Dima? Far Harbor. The Nucleus. They're both gone. You have brought nothing but death to this island. Why? Do you just enjoy it? You make me sick. I had nothing to do with it. Please, don't insult me. I know it was you. I had my reasons. You have no right to judge me. But it's my people and I that inherit the consequences. We are alone on this island now. Should I be grateful that you've spared us? Both groups deserved it. The children of Adam were insane. Far Harbor wasn't any better. And now it's just us, alone on this mountain. Should I be grateful that you've spared Acadia? Or are you just toying with me? Be careful, Dima. Or you and your people are next. We continue to live only out of the goodness of your heart. Is that it? I am done talking to you. I have to prepare Acadia for living in this new, terrible world you've handed us. I hope for your sake that you can live with all that blood on your hands. And with that, he refuses to talk with us anymore. Each of these options, destroying Far Harbor, destroying the Nucleus, and destroying both, elicits different responses from Kasumi when we finally take the time to convince her to go back home. Responses that we'll explore in an upcoming episode. But we still have to confront Dima about what he did to the people of Far Harbor. That is a complicated task with numerous options and many different threads to explore. 
we'll tackle that task in my next episode. I publish new Fallout videos each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss that episode, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have subscribed, but you still feel like you're not getting the notifications you signed up for, consider following me on Twitter at Oxhorn. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I've got a brand new shirt in the shop. Glory to Atom! If you believe, like High Confessor Tectus, that the heresy of Far Harbor must be punished, then you can find this design on shirts in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes, and in a wide array of colors. You can find it on other products as well, like smartphone cases, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with more brand new videos.